Episode number one of Who's Better? In this episode, we will discuss Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking. First, let's discuss Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, the kingdom of Württemberg, in the German Empire, on the 14th of March in 1879, to a regular family. One year later, they moved to Munich, also in Germany. The Einstein family was Jewish, but Einstein went to a Catholic school for the beginning of his life. He was later transferred to the Lutpold Gymnasium to get an education for seven years. Albert Einstein had hobbies such as sailing, making card houses, and playing the violin. He also started to like smoking towards his later years and said that he believed that pipe smoking contributes to a somewhat calm and objective judgment in all human affairs. His interest in science began when, at the age of five, his father showed him a pocket compass. Einstein was fascinated by why the needle moved and further wanted to satisfy his interest in science, namely physics, any way he could. A Jewish medical student, Max Talmud, who came to live with the Einstein family, also brought Einstein books and magazines about mathematics and physics to read. Einstein read them intently and he even taught himself from the books. After Einstein's family moved to Pavia, Italy, Einstein stayed in Munich to continue his education in school. He could not stay without his family, however, and after one term in school, moved to Pavia as well. Albert Einstein did not do badly in school in mathematics and physics, but he did do badly in most other classes. Einstein thought that schools were a bad way to learn and that the spirit of learning was lost on strict teaching. Einstein attempted to skip school and go straight to college, namely the Swiss Polytechnic, but he failed his exams for art and was not accepted. He went to the Federal Polytechnic School instead. After his graduation, Einstein wanted a job as a teacher, but he could not find one. His friend's dad helped him get a job at a patent office. At the patent office, Einstein saw a lot of work about transmission of electric signals and electrical mechanical synchronization of time, which led partly to his thought experiments. Einstein also started a discussion group with a couple of friends he met in Berlin. They discussed philosophy, which in part led to Einstein's philosophical outlook on life. Einstein had written a paper in 1901 discussing capillary phenomena, which had gotten published in the newspaper. Later, in 1905, he finished his thesis on it with a friend and got a PhD in physics from the University of Zurich. Besides getting his PhD in 1905, Einstein also published his most famous works. 26 years of age was known as his miracle year because he published five papers, one of which was about his theory of special relativity and the other about E equals mc squared. In 1907, he began piecing together his theory of special relativity with the laws of gravity. In 1911, Einstein and his family moved to Prague and Einstein attended the first physics conference of the world. He was the youngest one there. He also worked on a theory of gravity and finished his theory of relativity. In 1919, Einstein married Elsa Lowenthal. In 1927, Einstein attended the fifth Solvay conference and met Niels Bohr. Him and Niels Bohr began working on the idea of quantum mechanics. At age 53, he reached the height of his fame and in 1933, moved to Princeton, New Jersey with his family. Because he knew that his famous equation could spark a new type of bomb, he wrote a letter to Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the president at the time, warning him about the possibility of the Germans building a nuclear bomb. He also helped with the physics of the nuclear bomb. Einstein died in 1955 because of heart failure. In total, he was appointed a teacher at many institutions. He was appointed leading lecturer at the University of Bern. He also became a full professor at Karl Ferdinand University in Prague, the director of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physics, a professor at the Humboldt University of Berlin, a member of the Prussian Academy of Sciences, and president of the German Physical Society. Albert Einstein worked on many topics of science and published more than 200 papers about his research. His fame brought him many medals such as the Nobel Prize in Physics, the Matteucci Medal, the Copley Medal, and the Max Planck Medal. He also became Time Magazine's Person of the Century. Now, let's discuss Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking was born in Oxford on the 8th of January in 1942. His parents were Frank and Isabel Hawking. He started attending school when he was eight. 
He went to St. Albans School in England. In school, he was an ordinary student, but when he went to the University College in Oxford where he studied physics, his physics tutor saw that if Hawking knew something could be done, he would do it without any help, even if he barely knew the subject. At the University College, Stephen Hawking did not learn a lot of new things. Even though he liked math, he majored in natural sciences. He was usually bored in class, but he could answer all the questions. He ended up having an oral test and got his BA degree in 1962. In 1965, Hawking married Jane Wilde. He then went to Trinity Hall in Cambridge for graduate work. While he was at the Trinity Hall, he began developing a myotrophic lateral sclerosis, but with the help of a doctor, the disease stabilized and he finished his PhD paper in time to graduate in 1966 at age 23. However, the doctor said he only had three more years to live. By 1968, Hawking was showing signs of the disease more and more and had to use a wheelchair to move around. In 1970, Hawking and his friend Roger Penrose showed that if the universe obeys general relativity, then it must have started out as a singularity or a point with infinite density. Both Hawking and Penrose were awarded the Adams Prize. Hawking then published a book with George Ellis called The Large-Scale Structure of Spacetime, which included his works with Roger Penrose on the singularity of the universe. By 1985, Hawking's disease had gotten even worse, and he lost his speech. His only way of speaking became through a voice machine operated by a finger that was still working. When his finger stopped working, he had to use a cheek muscle to voice his thoughts. Hawking also proposed the laws of black hole mechanics and the idea of Hawking radiation, as well as proving that black holes are not vacuums, which got him even more recognition among the scientific community and all over the world. In 1988, Hawking published A Brief History of Time, which has been translated into 40 languages and 25 million copies have been sold of since then. He also received the Wolf Prize in 1988. In 1991, he divorced Jane Wilde. In 1994, he published another book called Black Holes and Baby Universes and Other Lectures, in which he discussed black holes, universe formation, other astronomy topics, as well as his life. For his contributions to science, Hawking received the Eddington Medal, the Hughes Medal of the Royal Society, the Albert Einstein Medal, the Franklin Medal, the Gold Medal of the Royal Astronomical Society, the Wolf Prize in Physics, and many more. He also got a museum named after him, the Stephen W. Hawking Science Museum, located in San Salvador, El Salvador, and a statue in his honor carved by Ian of Walters. Both of these scientists have contributed greatly to modern science and have both gotten worldwide recognition among scientists and non-scientific community alike. The result is a tie, but you are always free to decide on your own opinion. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, it would be very nice of you to click the like button or favorite the video, as well as possibly subscribing and generally supporting us.